Ladies and gentlemen, our next match, presented by Zero One Pro Wrestling USA, is scheduled for one fall. Welcome to the nosebleed seats. Back to Sarah Carthar, back behind the uh, camera. For uh, week two of matches from the Urbana Sweetcorn Festival. Corn Festival held on the uh, August the 24th in the uh, big parking lot. Former to Ray. Imagine that. Uh, he is, a, he is beat up and really sore. He's, uh, he's coming off a uh, full-way ladder match at a UWC. Of course, this program was uh, submitted to uh, UPTV6 and Access 4 two weeks before the uh, scheduled hearing of this program. So. I do not know the outcome, but if you attended the show or read the website, you now know the outcome. Fabulous Jason V also made his debut for New West Wrestling. A uh, losing effort against uh, Tony G. First time uh, he has the first ring in the sport. I don't know whose music this is. Because it does not match up with anybody that I know of. A couple of key shows this weekend we're going to talk about in this edition of the program and come to the ring. Blake Steele. Rockstar by Nickelback. I know everybody complains about Nickelback. I'm not one of them. I actually like their music because they're actually it's actually stuff I can listen to. They sell their records, obviously, but everybody complains about Nickelback. Music being horrible, yet they sell. The records sell, so. Ladies and gentlemen, up. this match is one fall. Introducing first to my left, hailing from. His closest mirror, 190 pounds, here is the Apex, Blake Steele. And his opponent, hailing out of the friend zone, weighing 192 pounds, a slender 192 pounds, here is the MVP of OMG, fabulous, Jason B. Jason Vendetta. So these two are nearly this identical in weight, but Jason uh, Vendetta is several inches taller than Blake Steele. <laughs> Your referee is dangerous, Drew Thomas. People complain about Nickelback. If it's that horrible, why are they selling so many records? Why are they in the top ten? Code of Honor! I guess Nickelback in these guys' minds is the most overrated band in rock and roll history. Jason V as offering a code of honor and Blake Steele not uh, taking it. Blake Steele not honoring the code. So here we go, one on one action. An arm drag by Jason Vendetta and he offers his hand again. Weekend shows to make mention of Dreamwave Wrestling in LaSalle, Peru. Tonight's Columbus Hall. DreamwaveWrestling.com on the 15th. Gold Dust. Dustin Rhodes will be appearing at that event. Jason Vendetta going out into the crowd. UC Bank. 
invades and various people. Why Jason V is insisting on uh, getting a handshake from Blake Steele. <coughs> oh, we got code of oh, I broke the code. Zavrin, you broke the code. Blake Steele with a kick to the gut, and Vendetta wraps on to Blake Steele. Steel skirt. Like steel. Running off. There's an arm drag from Jason V. Russian leg sweep. The cover only gets two. Key matchups at uh Pro Wrestling Glory, which will be holding its first ever event in Moroy, Illinois, just north of the Cater, as Jason V throws Lake Steele into the corner. Lake Steele will be taking on Matt Boston, the man Matt Boston, who's been only had about one or two matches a year in the past several years. Matt Boston's chance to put up or shut up as to whether uh, he's going to get back the uh, ring skill that uh, he had uh, at New Midwest Wrestling and then retired for, uh, went inactive for several years to, uh, to uh, problems with a uh, broken foot that he, he suffered in 2005, 2006. And a flying knee on Blake, Blake Steele. It's a flying knee on Jason Vendetta. Two, two count. Matchups, Cookies and Cream. Jason Vendell will team up with Cece Cerveza to take on the team, the new team of uh, Tony G and Jimmy Carrot. First time that duo is ever going to team. I kind just threw the uh, tech teams together at random, it seems. But, uh, cookies and Cream. Detta and Cerveza will take on Tony G and Jimmy Carrot. Gary Winkle will also be taking on Matty Montcalm. The Kentucky Buffet will take on the new tag team of Dakobra and Joey O'Reilly. It's Pro Wrestling Glory in Marois, Illinois on September 15th this weekend. World Community Center, the uh, venue that uh, was used quite a lot by uh, Great American Wrestling years ago. And there's a forward Russian leg sweep from Jason Patera. Two count. Also in a, making appearances. Mississippi Madman, Truck Thompson, Rip Mystic, Tom Arson, and Attitude Incorporated. Shot to the throat from uh, Blake Steele and drops it. Double to the head. Still gonna chuck away on Jason Vendetta. Noble shows coming up the following week. New promotion, Classic Wrestling Federation Indiana, going to run in the same venue that UWC ran last weekend. <laughs> West Harold, Indiana, West Virgo Community Center, Facebook.com slash CWF Indy and rumors were flying around that this promotion was trying to find a venue in Champaign, Illinois. He's not dry. Don't know if they're going to. And a side elbow from Blake Steele takes down Vendetta. The cover one, two, to count. Midwest Wrestling going to Kincaid to South Fork High School on the 22nd. Big return. For uh, Kincaid, also make no sound on our championship wrestling. Turns to East Carindale on this weekend on 15th at the community center. If you do not have a website, and 
Jason Lee. Firing into the gut. Oh! Fires near the gut from Blake. But an axe handle to the head, side elbow. Axe handle to the gut. Vendetta. Spin kick to the head and down goes. Like like a ton of bricks. And only a two count. You wanna shake my hand? You wanna shake my hand? New vote on the MBS 25 will be coming up very shortly. Like steel. Number three on the MBS 25. Jason Mendea has always been on the list for quite a long time. Coming in at number 20. As Mendea to the top and Blake Steele gonna split the legs and takes down Vendetta. And Blake Steele gonna go for a suplex off the top. It's gonna take him down to the asphalt of the Busey Bank parking lot. Vendetta puts an end to that. Although those are pretty weak shots. And Vendetta is in no man's land. Stroud across the top rope. And a clothesline takes down Jason V. Blake Steele crawls into the ring, goes for a cover. One, two, two count. Blake Steele, the reigning PWA regional champion, will be defending that title in Springfield on September the 28th. And a roll up. Two count. And a jumping insecurity to the back of the head. And Blake picks, picks him up. Torture rack into a face buster. Cover. One, two, and three. Goodbye. Blake still is victorious. Eight minutes and 50 seconds, and now he gives Code of Honor. Sort of. Zero One USA will be holding its next event on November the 5th in Rantoul, Illinois, at the Lincoln's Challenge Academy Gymnasium. We're going back there in the month of November. More information about that will be coming out as the show gets closer to fruition. Uh, for all this weekend's wrestling events, visit the St. Louis Wrestling Community at stmwrestling.lifejournal.com. Jason B. a hug from a friend as he heads into Tech Team Action this weekend. Wanna wrestle? Head for the MBS Pro Wrestling Training Center at the Skywalkers International Sports Complex in Decatur. They start you off with cardio exercise and teach basic wrestling and performance techniques. You can also learn to be a referee, manager, or announcer. For more information, call 217-412-1677. The MBS Pro Wrestling Training Center, Central Illinois' only pro wrestling training facility, and the first session is free. that has not seen much action in uh, several years. Going to be defended here today as Truck Thompson going to be going for the Illinois title. This edition of the NBS. Truck Thompson did rank number 17 in the July NBS 25. He's going to be taking on a familiar rival Thompson uh, featured him uh, several okay. weeks. Oh, okay. Some time in the recent Illinois 
Tucker Thompson played football for Al the Alabama State Hornets. It's the uh, team mascot that uh, that jersey signifies. But he attended uh, Alabama University for his uh, schooling. As Mayor St. Pierre comes out with the 0-1 uh, Illinois Championship, formerly the NWA Illinois title, a belt that was held for several years. Well, off and on by Marco Cordova. Since he won that belt, he really did nothing with it. Rarely defended it. At one point, the belt was stripped from him, and the title was, was uh, mothballed for uh, three years. Ed Schumann, uh, and he was uh, still alive. Made no effort to uh, revive the belt. And Mark Cordova was reinstated as champion. Thomas holding up the uh, Illinois title belt. Well, Bear St. Pierre and Truck Thompson have tangled at 0-1 earlier this year as uh, Truck Thompson interrupted the MBS uh, Hall of Fame induction ceremony of the Don Kim Morales happened way back in January. We uh, did an early induction for uh, the Don Kim Morales before he moved to uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Truck Thompson, for some reason, felt butt hurt. Not being mentioned as part of the entourage that went to uh, Memphis, Tennessee. How many? Came out to uh, interrupt the ceremony, attack Kim Morales. Mayor St. Pierre came out to make the save and defeat Truck Thompson. So these two men are going to face off again, and this time there is a championship at stake. Although, uh, Troy Thompson in recent months seems to have gained the favor of the fans. Wherever he goes, Irish whip, reverse, Bear charges the corner, splash! And Bear! Taken down, Truck Thompson. Bear St. Pierre won the Illinois Championship in Streeter, Illinois. Sometime during the summer. Actually, it was uh, in uh, May during uh, Memorial Day weekend. And Truck Thompson fires back on Bear St. Pierre. Irish whip, reversal. Does not take down Bear. What? That's Doomsday. Doomsday has come out to watch the match. What is he doing out here? Bear off the ropes. And Truck takes the shot and remains standing, but down goes Truck Thompson. Doomsday, uh, been a thorn in the side of many people at uh, IWAU. Doomsday interrupted a in Doomsday interrupted a 
different uh, Hall of Fame ceremony for uh, homicidal Stephen Davis. Charlie Thompson. Gonna try and pick up Bear. 350 pounds at least. And Truck with a suplex. And a boo wipe across the face of Truck Thompson. And Bear gonna. Oh. Bear just stood on the chest. 350 pounds of weight on the chest of Truck Thompson. Hey, normal man, that would break a few ribs. And there's a big splash. And a two count. You gotta come in as well. Bear St. Pierre. Just a shot to the gut from Truck as he's trying to fire back. Thompson will be in competition at uh, Pro Wrestling Glory. It's a debut show in Marora, Illinois on the 15th. Be sure to add the page on Facebook, Pro Wrestling Glory. Dreamwave, of course, will be holding its event. The South Peru World Rumble show. For a chance at a... Uh, Heavyweight championship contract to be used at any time, any Dreamwave show in the future. Nick Brubaker will be taking on Prince Mustafa Ali. And no disqualification match. Whoever wins the Royal Rumble, the Goose Gold Rumble, could conceivably cash in that contract same evening he wins it against whoever uh, survives Brubaker versus Prince Ali. Of course, I'm not really a fan of uh, making the champion wrestle twice in the same night. Using the contract to, uh, I guess, uh, take advantage of somebody. And Truck picks up Bear St. Pierre! Slams him down! Truck gonna go for cover. One, two, two count. Doom stay still watching from the uh, sidelines as Truck Thompson lines up and hits a spear of Bear. And here comes Doomsday! <laughs> Truck Thompson has Bear St. Pierre pinned and Doomsday's come out here. Drew Thomas in his face. What is Doomsday doing out here? What is his business out here? Choke slam. The cover one, two. Oh, kick out. And Doomsday looks a little surprised by that. Bear gonna lock in a bear hug. Doomsday is now roaming around the ring. What is this problem? Like a, like a hitman of sorts. <laughs> Made some point about the Goose Gold Rumble and Truck not giving it up. It's Doomsday back on the apron and Drew Thomas gets sandwiched between Doomsday and Truck. As Truck takes down Bear. Truck Thompson cannot ignore Doomsday because he's just looming right behind him. And now he gets in a ring. My breath, get up! Head 
Doomsday! 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 Drew Thomas sucks. is a former Doomsday sucks! Doomsday sucks! Look at this! Bam! Crushes truck in the corner! Doomsday gonna crush him in the corner! Drew Thomas is a former wrestler, I mean, I would think you would be able to take a few hits! And look at this! Splash from Doomsday! Look at this disgusting double teaming! Bear with a splash. I mean, why does Truck Thompson need Doomsday? Well, Bear St. Pierre, why does he need Dooms the help of Doomsday here? He's beating Truck Thompson without help, and Doomsday with a power slam on a mat. And now Doomsday exits the ring. And now he's wake up Drew Thomas. Wind knocked out of him or something. <laughs> a slow count. Very tainted victory for Bear St. Pierre. Disgusting. Now, Bear St. Pierre retained the Illinois title in 8 minutes and 45 seconds. A lot of help from his, I guess, newly hired gun. Doomsday run interference in every title match he has. I just wonder if uh, the promoter David Kavasas is going to stand for this. Sickening. It's a hired gun, Doomsday. Causing trouble wherever he goes. Now he's stirred up trouble here at Zero One USA. Ah, uh, well, be sure to uh, check out uh, Pro Wrestling Glory or Dreamwave this weekend. But that's going to do it for this edition of the Nosebleed Seats. I am the Mag Conservative Crime Fighter. Be sure to check us out. See you post wrestling or stlwrestling.livejournal.com and centralillinoispro wrestling.com. We're out of time. See ya.